After losing out on Yoshinobu Yamamoto, the Mets are going to have to pivot and find a way to make this offseason successful. This is all things message where you get your latest Mets media. Everything you know about the Mets on the channel. Definitely do me a favor, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into today's video, and that is the pivot. You know, the Mets should pivot. The Mets have to pivot. Um, they got to sign a starting pitcher like Jordan Montgomery, definitely, or Blake Snell. Um, they definitely have to have a successful offseason. Now, losing out on Yoshinobu Yamamoto really does suck for the New York Mets. I know a lot of Mets fans are not happy. Um, definitely, Steve Cohen did everything he can, you know, to get this guy. And Yoshinobu Yamamoto just picked the Dodgers. At the end of the day, it is what it is. He picked the Dodgers. He wanted to go and play with Shohei Otani, um, you know. I mean, I mean, who who could blame him? You know, it's Shohei Otani, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, uh, the Dodgers. You know, they just got Tyler Glass now as well. So, it's a lot of talent there. Um, it makes sense why he would want to go there. You know, the quickest way maybe to a championship. You know, but baseball's hard. Baseball's hard, and just because the Dodgers have all this talent doesn't mean they're gonna win the World Series. So. Yeah, guys, the Mets have to pivot, and I think they should go right after Jordan Montgomery. I know there was a report um, saying that they're not going to go after a high-end starting pitcher, and I really don't see that happening. I definitely see the Mets having some interest in Jordan Montgomery, um, you know, Blake Snell. Uh, Blake Snell is probably not going to come to the Mets just because he wants to play on the West Coast and he doesn't want to play on the East Coast. But Jordan Montgomery definitely, you know, was a former Yankee. He's a good pitcher, had a really successful, you know, season uh, with the Texas Rangers, won the World Series. You know, the Mets have to pivot. The Mets got to get um find some type of success in this offseason and i think they should go right after jordan montgomery you know um you know lower than a, a three era you know uh in in the postseason this guy is just a good pitcher he knows how to pitch and i think the mets need a guy like jordan montgomery you know the mets need pitching at the end of the day it is what it is the mets need pitching after you know uh that adrian hauser trade definitely they got some depth but they need some high-end starting pitching, and if the report is true that they're not going to go after a high-end starting pitcher, then that is really unfortunate. You know, I really don't see why you wouldn't go after, you know, Jordan Montgomery when you could have went. You know, you were offering, um, you know, Yoshinobu Yamamoto $325 million. So, so it's not like you don't have the money. So I say the Mets have to pivot. The Mets have to find a way to get... Um, you know, a successful starting pitcher like Jordan Montgomery. I think this guy would be a perfect addition to the New York Mets rotation. You know, had a really good postseason, uh, good season as well. Uh, ERA was good. So I think Jordan Montgomery would be good for the Mets because he knows how to pitch. He knows how to get guys out. He knows how to get big time hitters out. So when it comes to the Mets, the Mets need to make a move. They got to do something. And I think it starts with Jordan Montgomery. I hope it starts with Jordan Montgomery. And then we could go after Jorge Soler. And then we could go after, you know, the Mets they could go after some more starting, um, you know, a reliever like David Robertson or Jordan Hicks or something like that. But the Mets need to pivot. The Mets have to find a way to make this season, this offseason, successful. At the end of the day, you know, getting Severino, getting Adrian Hauser, getting Tyrone Taylor, that's not really a successful offseason for Mets fans. And I know a lot of Mets fans are not happy. And, you know, I was very, you know, disappointed not getting Yoshinobu Yamamoto. But at the end of the day, he was going to play where he wanted to play. And he went to go play with the Dodgers. And now he's going to be a Dodger. And I should have took a hint when he went to the Lakers game. Um, you know, his first time in the U.S., he went to the Lakers game. Uh, recently and I should have took that as a hint like he's probably going to go to the Dodgers and he's going to play with his boy Shohei Otani so at the end of the day the Mets have to find a way to salvage this offseason we'll see what they do I know it's a lot of rumors about possibly Steve Cohen you know waiting the money out and getting Juan Soto next year but listen Juan Soto is going to be in 2025 so at the end of the day, the Mets got to make a move. The Mets have to do something. I need the Mets to do something. We need the Mets to do something. We'll see what the Mets do, you know, coming in the coming days, you know, in the coming weeks. But 
you know expect throughout the holidays not a lot of movement i wouldn't say you know this was the big fish this was the mets big fish that they wanted and they just could not get them it just really sucks for the mets though but steve cohen did everything possible to get this guy he flew in you know to japan he he hosted him in his house he did every single thing that you could possibly think of so at the end of the day um the mets gotta do something and i just hope that they um pivot and get a guy like jordan montgomery get a guy like jorge Soler, and we'll see because i think the mets still have a good core still have a you know some good pitchers as well um but they need a high-end starting pitcher like jordan montgomery they really do in the rotation if they want to be competitive in 2024 that's the video definitely do me a favor leave a like comment subscribe i love you guys so much i appreciate you guys this is all things mets i'm not feeling the best but i wanted to make a video for you guys so yeah man you guys are awesome stay tuned for more videos have a great one